These writhing maggots might just be the future of farming. It contains 30%, it, it can be more than 30%, 30% protein, very uh, high quality protein, and 30% oil. It can be used for animal feed as a replacement for soil a protein or a fish meal, and it, its production is very sustainable. Researchers say the black soldier fly has amazing properties. They get huge and fast. They can breed by the trillions and they eat any biological waste. What we are doing is uh, genetic engineering in this uh, amazing uh, creature called the black soldier fly. And we are trying to gain more oil in order to get a, it's a commercially viable for a biofuels production. The black soldier fly research is the product of a lab at Israel's premier tech research school, Ben Gurion University. But how does a project jump out of the lab and into mass production? Unfortunately, a lot of these wonderful things that can really change the world are staying within the walls of the academia. And we're here to change that. So what do we do is we find these groundbreaking research and researchers who lead them who also have to have some sort of character. They need to want to do it and they need to want to invest in it. And we match make. That's where the university's Oasis Accelerator comes into play. The project is headed by the Yazamut 360 Entrepreneurship Center. It takes researchers that generally would not have any idea how to run a company, and it gets their projects in front of people who couldn't publish an academic paper. But they learn from each other, and presto, you have a viable tech firm. The goal is different. So the industry wants to make money, the cycles are fast, um, and you're looking at success rate as success differently. And in the academia, you work in depth on a certain problem and you want to cover it all around. And before you publish, you work really hard on covering all possible aspects. For the Black Soldier Fly project, that match was Yoav Etgar, a tech giant with multiple successful companies under his belt. And where you or I might see maggots, he sees profits. In 2023, it is supposed to be around $4 billion, just a BSF market for protein, mainly for protein. What we are trying to do is have a platform of genetically modified strains that we can uh, uh, prepare, develop specific strains for specific applications. That lab research is now a company, Bugira, and they are refining their product every single day. And this is an oil sample that we made here. And in addition, we turn this oil into biodiesel. Bugs aren't the only one. So far, 12 companies have raised $16 million through the accelerator since it was founded in 2020, with five more in development, all aimed at taking what would have previously been a publication in an obscure journal and turning it into big business. But it's also a way for researchers to see their work amount to real-world results. Having wonderful ideas that will end up in scientific papers in respected journal is not enough. It will not change anything. We understood, or we know that if we want to make a change, it must reach the public. And if it needs to reach the public, it must come up with money. And money means commercial companies. For Ofer Dahan, that's about measuring nitrates in the soil to combat climate change and forge a marketable product to make it happen. And with a little organized help from the university, projects like these can take root in fertile soil.